Uh, a very impressive feature that comes on the Smart Meter S10 is the ability to um, uh, uh, capture video and also take screenshots. So a prerequisite of being able to use this facility on the smart meter is you have to use an external, some type of external hard drive. And in this case, I'm just using a Transcend uh, 1 gig USB key that we actually sell on the TV Trade website. They're relatively cheap, less than 10 euros, I think. Um, so we come along here and we will simply um, uh, hit the exit button to bring up the menu that we want. So we can see here we have a particular channel and we're recording it there now. So what we'll do is we'll... Um, It'll say, um, we can see option number four here is PVR. So what I'll actually do is we'll hit, just hit the F4 button here. And it'll ask us what particular channel that we want to record. So we'll record the channel we're currently looking at. And I just hit OK. So it starts recording there. And in the background anyway, it's working away and storing the information onto my USB key. So if I want to end recording, I simply hit the exit button. Uh, do you want to exit recording? And I'll say yes. Uh, and that's it. Now, I'll simply change channels here. Um, so I flipped over to a different um, uh, BBC channel here, okay? Uh, actually, it's uh, just, um, even though I'm changing channels, I'm going effectively the same thing here. I'll go to BBC 2, or BBC 1, right? Um, so what I'll do here, this is some home improvement program, and I'll just show you how to take a screenshot. You simply use a decimal point button here, so I simply go, um, uh, hit this button, and it says catch picture. I just wait for a slightly different picture to come up here. Now, I'll take a picture of that man. Now I took a picture of his kitchen as it happens. So to exit out here, I just go uh, the menu button, and I simply come to access the information. We have to use the functionality that comes within the PC update, because it, le it lets us access uh, the USB menu here. So you can see anyway, these pictures here and the videos we've shot will actually be displayed here at the bottom of the main menu if we look at all the all code section. But what we'll actually do is we'll just go over to the movie section. And the movie we after shooting a few moments ago, we have the name of the channel and we also have the date and the time that it was shot and the duration uh, is all given in the extension name, okay? And the type of thing is it's a, it's a, an MPEG um, uh, movie. So we simply come along here and click OK and we can play it back and we can use things like the F2 function to uh, pause uh, or F1 function to pause play and uh, F2 to resume play things like that so you just hit the exit button to get out of there and uh, if we didn't want to keep that particular movie we'll simply delete it and it asks how sure we want to delete it there and if I scroll over here as far as pictures I can see there's a bitmap here and there's uh, that's the picture of the original kitchen there and I'll just uh, exit back out uh, and here, then another picture of his kitchen. So you can see anyway, it's very, very impressive. You know, it's extraordinary how they've gone to the difficulty, uh, added uh, effort of adding this functionality onto the smart meter. But once again, it's, it's these added features that, for me anyway, separate the smart S10 from all its competitors in its particular uh, price bracket. So that, that's it explained to you, hopefully, um, in, in some clarity, uh, the capture video and screenshots functionality on the smart S10 meter.